Weird. Most of the super heavyweights, like, they're, it's funny, they don't really look like athletes. Like, when you see Heather, um, my best friend, you'll, she looks like an Olympic athlete. I look like a person that's going on the side of the road to McDonald's, and it's hilarious because everyone, when we're together, they think she's the Olympian, not me. People see Holly's attitude, the carefree, whatever goes. I mean, with all respect, it's a front because at the end of the day, she's got to get it done. And she, she misses, and she's so disciplined, and she'll miss a lot of things because she'll have to um, focus on her sport. That was 125 kilos, so 275 pounds. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. So you do this for four years and literally you're at the pinnacle of what you're doing, trying to produce that result. Meanwhile, for the next four years, you have all these other athletes who are saying the same thing. I want to be that top dog. I want to make 2016, and I really, 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 really want a medal. Um, it takes a lot for a way to fit a medal. Her total back in the day was right around in the low 200s, and little by little she started adding that added that total up till it got into the around the 260 range. And you could tell each time that she went to a meet, especially a big meet, she continued to increase her total, such to a point that you don't usually see that in a lifter of that caliber to be able to increase exponentially. So you started seeing that result and that confidence of, hey, every time the coach calls for a weight, that must mean I can do it. And so you saw that big result every single big time competition. And that proved to be the difference going from roughly ninth position in the country to second in the country within a short amount of time.